South Sudan has a new government, a transitional government that it's hoped can end the conflict in the country, but there is a lack of funds to run the government and develop the country devastated by the two and a half year conflict. South Sudan depends on oil revenue, but returns have reduced drastically following the fall of crude oil prices in the global market. The country is also experiencing high inflation amid lack of donor aid. President Salva Kiir has instructed the new cabinet to improve security and employ austerity measures to beat inflation. Inflation can go up to some extent. And there will be time that it will come down when conditions are created in the country. Yes, it will come down. Now, if we have stable security, the economy will, will stabilize. Because investors will come in, everybody will do it on their business. This will not be an easy task. The country lacks infrastructure to fast track investment. South Sudan imports virtually everything from neighboring countries, but foreign traders are being discouraged by the weak South Sudanese pounds and insufficient supply for foreign currency. The new government says it will improve agriculture and increase oil production. South Sudan's finance minister says the country will be forced to cut down spending and sell off government properties as part of austerity measures just to stay afloat. The current government, the government of South Sudan, will make effort to let it run. If we can, even if it means we cut down on some of our expenditures, like cutting down on export of expensive uh, vehicles and so on and so on. We are going to try to reduce our expenditures. We are going to improve our revenue collection. That one will make our government run. At least the running cost we can cover. South Sudan has also made an appeal to the International Monetary Fund for budgetary support. We need budget support for agriculture, we need budget support for education and for health, and also for the reintegration and uh, resettlement of the displaced. Many businesses in South Sudan have closed down due to a lack of foreign currency, leaving many people unemployed. The government is working to improve security in the country and put in place a better environment to attract foreign investors. South Sudan has embarked on a path of economic recovery and stabilization, but in order to do that, the government needs funding. The country is hoping the donors will step in and help the government fund its operation and develop the country destroyed by war. Patrick Oyet, CCTV, Juba, South Sudan.